Welcome back to Music Teacher Videos. I'm here today to talk about flow direction. This is basically a fancy repeat. Anytime you see the DS, which is the abbreviation for Dow Signal, the DC, that's the abbreviation for Da Capo, or something like El Coda or El Fine, this is what we're talking about. Here we see the symbol for the segno, which is just a sign. It's kind of like a funky crooked S with a percent sign over top of it. And whenever we see that, it's this fancy thing that says, hey, at some point you're going to come back to this spot in your music. Take a mental note and be ready to skip back here. And then when we see the target, that would be like the O with the plus sign through it. We call that the coda. And that means, hey, at some point you're going to skip to this, sometimes just simply called the ending. Now, there's two ways that they can send us back to these things. So when we have the DC, the Dal Capo, it's going to go back to the very beginning of the song, measure one or the pickup to measure one if there's a pickup. And when we have the DS or the Dal Segno, we go back to that sign that we just looked at. Alfine means that the second time you go through, you're going to stop right there. And Alcoda means that the second time you go through, you're going to skip to where the coda is. So these are not true repeats. It's not just play it again, Sam. It's this go back and replay this one specific part. Because we have the DC, the DS, and the Alfine, and the Alcoda, we actually have four available combinations. We can go back to the beginning DC and stop at the Fine. We can go back to the beginning DC and then skip to the coda to end. Or we could go back to the Segno DS and play till we see Fine. Or go back to the Segno DS and then play and skip to the coda. Now that we've talked about the basics, let's apply it. Line number one in English, if it did not have anything special, would say our school colors are black and gold. But after the word R, we see the DS Alcoda. Remember, that's go back to the sign and skip to the coda. So after the word R, we do not go to black. We would go back to school because that's where the segno is. Our school colors are school. But the second time through, after school, we do not say the word colors again because that's where it says to coda. So we would skip to the ending black and gold. That would make line one, please read with me. Our school colors are school black and gold. Please read with me again. Our school colors are school black and gold. Now let's look at line two. So line two uses the segno, the segno just like line one, but instead of going to the coda, we just go to the fine. I know it looks like the word fine, just be Italian, call it fine. So we're going to go, our school colors are black, and we keep going, because we ignore the fine the first time through. So the first time, our school colors are black and gold, back to the segno, are black, stop. When you have an alfine, the song does not stop at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. It stops somewhere partway through the song where you see the word fine. All right, everyone, read with me line number two. Our school colors are black and gold are black. Again, line two. Our school colors are black and gold are black. All right, moving on to line three. The DC alfine. There's no cat. There's no uh, segno. It goes back to the very, very beginning. So we do the whole thing once because until we're told to look for the fine, we ignore it, and then we go back to the beginning, dal capo, and simply stop at fine. Here we go, line three together. Our school colors are black and gold. Our school colors. Again, line three. Our school colors are black and gold. Our school colors. Oh, moving on to line four. The good old-fashioned repeat sign. Oh, this is super easy. Ready and speak. Our school colors are black and gold. 
Our school colors are black and gold. Line four again, ready and go. Our school colors are black and gold. Our school colors are black and gold. Moving on to line five. We now have the DC Alcoda. DC going back to the very beginning. And then where it says to coda, skipping to the coda, which is often thought of as the ending. So let me walk you through it. Our school colors keep going are black. Back to the beginning, our school colors skip to the coda and gold. Let's try that together. Line five. Our school colors are black, our school colors and gold. Again, line five. Our school colors are black, our school colors and gold. Okay, that was applying it to some English. Now we're going to put some sheet music up here and apply it to that. All right, on the screen we have five lines and each line has a different repeat pattern. Um, there is some funny spacing on it. That's just the way the computer spit it out. So line number one does not have any repeats, does not have any flow direction, no DC, no Alfine, no DS, no Alcoda. Line one, you just read across the line. Let's read together line one. Ready and go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Same thing, line one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, so line two, we're going to think about it based on the training we've had so far this video. And let's give it a try. Line two, ready? <gasps> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, I hope everyone finished with me. To talk about it, we go through the first time and we make a mental note of the fine, but keep going. When we get to the end, D, C goes back to the beginning and stops at the fine. So we should have did measure one, two, three, four, and then measures one, two again. Let's try line two as a group. Ready and go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, line three, look at it and think about it. And let's try line three together. Ready and go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L. So in line three, we pass the two coda and make a note of it, but ignore it for the first time through. After the letter K, we have the DC Alcoda, so we go back to the beginning and this time skipping to the coda. So the second time through after EFG, we should go to L. Let's try line three again. Ready and go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L. All right, line four, line four. So line four uses the DS out of fine. Think about it. Okay, best of luck. Here we go. Ready and speak. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, E, F, G. So after the whole first time through, we go back to the segno, which is basically measure two. And then at the fine, we would stop. So we should end on the G. Let's try line four again. Ready and speak. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, E, F, G. Hopefully everyone's getting this. If not, rewind the video and work on it more. All right, line five is the last example. This one's using the DS Alcoda. Take a moment to think about it. One, two, ready, speak. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K E F G L. When we hit the DSL coda, we should have went back to the beginning of measure two, and at the end of measure two, we should have skipped to the coda for the L. So let's try a five again. Ready and speak. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, E, F, G, L. Anyone that has questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section or ask your music teacher. But I'm sure if you stay reading music and you're in band or orchestra or choir or taking piano lessons, that you will use a lot of these in your music throughout your lifetime.